Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the most popular horror games and last month I released a video making FNAF in one of the most basic game engine there is, Scratch a visual programming language where you drag around blocks. I got so many comments asking for FNAF 2. So I decided let's continue the saga and create Five Nights at Freddy in Scratch. Wait, what's this? The Scratch team has removed this project because it is too violent or scary. Excessive blood and gore. References to violent or scary media. Horror images and jump scares. Please follow community guidelines when using Scratch. Oh man, looks like we can't continue the saga. They removed my FNAF 1 project. I'd probably end up getting banned if I continue- Psych! You really think the Scratch team can stop us? We are going to continue the saga and we are coming back with even more horror elements and jump scares. Let's get into it. What makes FNAF 2 stand out from its predecessor? First, it replaces the traditional doors with a mask that allows you to blend in with the animatronics, fooling them into thinking you're one of their own. This adds a whole new level of strategy, as you now need to know when to put on the mask to avoid being caught. In FNAF 2, there are several new animatronics. Koi Freddy, Koi Bonnie, Koi Chica, and the Mango. Each of these characters have unique mechanics and behavior patterns. Another major addition is the introduction of the puppet, which requires you to keep a music box wound up to prevent it from attacking. The game environment is also expanded with additional rooms, like the game area, party rooms, and the air vents. Furthermore, the flashlight mechanic is introduced. You need to manage your flashlight battery to check dark areas as the main hall and the vents. Alright, let's start making the sequel. Here's the plan. We'll start with the main menu, then the office, the cameras, and finally the animatronics. To kick things off, we need the main menu. The FNAF main menus are iconic and set the mood right away. We've got the assets ready, let's add the text and animate the buttons. We'll write a script to detect the mouse clicks and start the game. Now onto the actual gameplay. We need to create the office. In FNAF 2, the office setup is crucial. For the movement script, we'll have to move the X position of the image to the X position of the mouse divided by minus 0.1. That's the same value I used for my FNAF 1 remake. And of course, I messed up somehow. I messed to mix up the less than and greater than signs so you could only turn to the right side. So after fixing that, we come to the most important part of the office, the fan. We'll use multiple frames and play them in a loop. We'll also move it according to the office X position, just like the rest of the office. Here are all the possible combinations of the light buttons. We'll add them to the office and script their functionality. Oh, another bug. The flashlight is constantly on. Let me quickly fix that. Next up, let's make the mask. In FNAF 2, the mask is a crucial mechanic that allows you to blend in with the animatronics, fooling them into thinking you're one of their own. We'll design the mask and script its functionality so you can wear it in-game. This involves creating a mask sprite and writing a script to detect when the player presses the mask button, switching to the mask view. Well now, it's time to add the most important part of the game, the camera. We'll start by creating a camera bar that the player can toggle. We'll then create the camera opening animation just like the original game. We can trigger the camera view when the mouse toggles the camera bar and add some camera borders for effect. Each camera will be assigned to a specific room. Some cameras will stay still, providing a static view of their area, while others will move left and right, repeating continuously to simulate a more dynamic environment. We'll also add a minimap with buttons to make the entire camera map viewable allowing the player to quickly switch between different camera feeds. And of course, each button will be assigned to a different camera. Now, let's add a flashlight meter to track its usage. In FNAF 2, managing your flashlight battery is crucial for survival, especially when checking dark areas of the map. And then I added the ability for the flashlight to get depleted as it gets used. Next, we'll implement the music box mechanic, which is a unique feature in FNAF 2. The music box must be wound up constantly to keep the puppet at bay. If it isn't wound up, the puppet will come for you, leading to a game over. This adds an extra layer of challenge in FNAF 2 as a player must balance checking cameras, wearing the mask, and winding up the music box. So I hope the Scratch mods enjoy playing this remake. That was a joke, please don't ban this game too. Oh we'll create a timer for the music box and script it to wind down over time. If the timer runs out, the puppet will activate and initiate a jump scare. We'll add the death screen to complete it. Now it's time for what you've all been waiting for, the animatronics. We'll start with the puppet, then Toy Bonnie, then add Toy Chica, and finally Toy Freddy. We'll script their movements and behaviors to make the game challenging. Now, 
Let's introduce the puppet. The animatronic is unique as it only starts moving when the music box stops playing. Then we need to program Toy Bonnie. He starts from the show stage, then moves through party room 3, party room 4, party room 2, and right air vent. Ultimately, he makes his way to the right office vent for the final encounter. Next up is Toy Chica's path. Starting off at the show stage, she then moves to the main hall. From there, she randomly selects either party room 4 or party room 1. If she chooses party room 4, she proceeds to party room 1 and then heads to the left air vent. Finally, from the left air vent, she moves to the right office vent to initiate her attack. Now, let's program Toy Freddy's route. Starting from show stage, he advances through the game area, then through hallway 1 and into hallway 2, which brings him even closer to the player, which he strikes decisively. When an animatronic moves into the same screen you're in, we'll display a camera issue screen to add suspense. Lastly, we'll add the call and mute button as an in-game tutorial. After all this and fixing a bunch of bugs, here's FNAF 2 and Scratch. And uh, subscribe for part three.